गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल आई एम पूनम स्वप्निल जाधव वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग ए आई एस एस एम एस आई ओ आई टी पुणे टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफेक्ट मैनेजमेंट डिफेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल अंडर द सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग कोर्स नाउ वॉट इज डिफेक्ट मैनेजमेंट इट इज वेरी मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू प्रिवेंट द डिफेक्ट्स इन द सॉफ्टवेयर the developer should always keep this in mind while developing the tester should discover the defect as quickly as possible if the defect is discovered in the early stage it would lead to less cost and less efforts to fix the defect once a defect is discovered it has to be recorded and tracked the defect when discovered recorded with all its required details defect management defect tracking is important to close the defect and reach the appropriate quality the discovered defect should be corrected and men- and maintained so that it does not occur again in the software the defect is analyzed and the root cause is found to improve the development of the development and the quality of the software the defects and the defect reports are analyzed and it helps to improve the quality of the software it is helpful to improve the individual team members they could improve their skills while analyzing the defects now defect life cycle is a ride of a defect from discovering the defect to the closure of the defect defect management in defect cycle is important to ensure the quality preventing identifying rectifying the defect is important to improve the quality defect is managed and tracked through the defect cycle with the use of the different defect tracking tools like jira mantis team service bazilla redmi now this is the defect life cycle here firstly identifying the defect which has new stage then assigned stage where we assign that particular defect to the developer who has developed that particular functionality nextly after assigning the defect the resol- the developer starts resolving the defect where the different stages come like fix defer duplicate not a defect cannot resolve cannot reproduce and after resolving the defect again retesting is done to find out whether the defect has been removed or not where the reopen and close stages come now the stages of the defect in the defect life cycle are identifying the defect resolving the defect retesting the defect identifying the defect to identify defect the tester should know exactly what the expected behavior of the system is while doing the test execution tester will compare the expected behavior and the actual behavior and if it is varying then the defect is discovered the defect hold the stage new assigned reopened falls under this stage after this stage defect shall be resolved resolving the defect the tester and the developer should rectify the defect so that it has no negative impact on other areas the defect hold the states like fixed duplicate cannot reproduce cannot resolve and not a defect under this stage after the stage the defect is ready to be retested retesting the defect after the developer rectify the defect the tester will retest the particular defect tester will test whether the defect is fixed and the expected behavior and the actual behavior are same defect that holds the state fixed duplicate cannot reproduce cannot resolve and not a defect will be verified in this stage now the states in the defect life cycle new when a defect is encountered in the software project the tester is supposed to raise it at the very first time the defect raised is the new stage comes in picture 
assigned once the defect is raised it will be assigned to developer to resolve the defect tester should know to which developer the particular defect should be assigned once assigned the defect is transferred to the developer's hand fixed the developer will analyze check and fix the defect while fixing the defect the developer should make sure that no negative influence is there on the other areas of the software deferred there are some instances that the defect is valid but it will be fixed in the future releases then the defect transferred to the deferred stage as a good practice when the deferred the defect the decision needs to be taken after discussing with the team members duplicate there are some cases that the defect is valid but it is already reported by some another tester or some in another form at that time the developer will mark the defect as duplicate defect not a defect if the defect is not a valid defect then the developer will state that the defect as not a defect now cannot reproduce there are some instances that the developer cannot reproduce a defect and the developer will mark it as cannot reproduce it's better to check the developer and try to recreate the defect some defects are data specific or environment specific at this time it is good to check with the tester and find the root cause cannot resolve there can be a defect which cannot be rectified due to an limitation like technical limitation we cannot resolve a defect we need to communicate that to the team and if need this need to be communicated to the client as well reopen after the state of fixed duplicate deferred cannot reproduce cannot resolve the defect is transferred again to the tester for verification the tester should retest the defect is fixed or not if the defect is not resolved then the defect is reopened again while reopened the de defect again goes into the developer's hand closed when the tester retests the defect and it is fixed then it will be closed it is also taken care that no such defect occurs in the future i hope you all have understood properly the defect life cycle thank you